I suppose I've been, I've been a little bit nervous coming into this experience because I'm super vulnerable with my story. I am the type of guy who wants to be open and, and transparent because, you know, there's no other way to do it. I am married. <laughs> what is going on? In 2016, I, um, I got married. Okay. We've been apart for a year and a half. Yeah. We drifted apart, you know, and I was I was pretty hurt in the process. And she's moved overseas now, so like for me that was sort of like, you know, I was like, I've closed that chapter of my life. And so we're chatting, and then all of a sudden, Carlin dropped a huge truth bomb right in my face, right while I'm smashing my salmon. You know, so we filed for divorce and stuff, and I suppose that's sort of just the last stage of that. So it hasn't been final yet. They haven't even finalised the divorce. Holy dooly. Are you really ready to dive into something so big again when you've not even divorced yet? I know I wanted to try something different, but the bloke's still bloody married. So I was having a little bit of a think. Yeah. And I'm like really happy that you did open up to me and tell me that. You are recently divorced-ish. Yeah. You could probably see that I would have some concerns that it might be a bit of a look at me now, I'm, you know, I'm over you. And a great way to kickstart your whole new life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Holy dooly. Colin dropped a massive truth bomb on me. I had no idea he was going to tell me that he's still technically married. I'm glad he's telling me the truth, but it did kind of throw a spanner in the works. He is, you know, only kind of recently separated and the divorce isn't final. It just really made me start thinking, you know, are you ready? Are you here for the right reasons? Sometimes we do crazy things when we're trying to get over somebody. And uh, yeah. because you know what it's like to feel shit, I'm assuming, that I would hope you wouldn't want to do that to somebody. Yeah. That's just not who I am. To be honest, for me, it feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Just because I've been focusing on myself and, um, and like I said, I'm really content with where I'm at. I'm ready for the next thing. Angie's concern is that I might be, you know, here to get back at my ex. It's not the case. It really isn't the case. And I'm just hoping that she's willing to have a little bit of faith in me and take the time to allow me to prove to her that it's not. But then it also did make me kind of concerned that because I have never been in love before, would you kind of then be concerned to kind of dive in with somebody that hasn't felt that kind of love? Oh, honestly, I mean, I'm definitely not nervous about that. Everyone goes through what they go through and they learn what they learn from their experiences. You find someone that you connect with and you pursue it and you don't hold back. Life is not about holding back. Yeah. Take the risks. Put yourself out there. Be vulnerable. Yeah. So I'm sorry if opening up to you, it's sort of gotten in your head a little bit. No, I don't want you to think that at all. I'm so happy that you opened up. Like, definitely. I just thought, because I haven't felt that, that made me frightened. But I yeah. guess, like, if you aren't, then mm. I don't have to worry about you. I'm not frightened. I had so much fun with you today. And I love that we were able to 
talk about pretty much everything, but you yeah. definitely opened up and showed me a side that you didn't have to, but you chose to. So I was wondering... <laughs> Carlin, would you accept this rose? I would love to. How does it feel to have one of those on? It feels really good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Here's me thinking I wouldn't for like weeks, but first day, Pasha. And Dale, I am so glad I did. OMG, the guy even kisses perfectly. He could give me Pash Rash any day. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> this whole day with Angie has been absolutely incredible. There's a real chemistry and a spark between us. I'm serious about finding someone to spend the rest of my life with. And after this amazing day, for the first time in a long time, I think there's an opportunity to, to find love again. Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor, you need some more highlights. You'll find them by clicking right here. And if you want to see us every single week, you should subscribe. Subscribe to that. Well, YouTube, if you can't get enough Bachelor content, then you need to see more highlights. You'll find them right here. And you can also subscribe to this channel by clicking below.